Hi guys, it's Bailey here from Crochet with Bay. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back and thank you for coming back. I am really excited for today's video. I have gotten so many requests for today's video. It is going to be my office tour. We just moved into this new house about July, August, September. Oh my god, we've been in here for like three months. It's crazy. So I've had a few months to get this room looking kind of how I like it, but there are definitely some things that I still want to improve on and I just needed it functional so I could still work and bring in some income while we were renovating the rest of the house. I plan on going over the different yarn brands that I use, um, the different where I get my supplies, what a typical work day looks like for me when I come into this office at the beginning of the day, and you might even get a sneak peek of my new pattern. Um, I don't know if it'll be a sneak peek by the time this video airs because the pattern might already be out, but you might see it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notifications so you never miss a video. Let's jump right in. Okay, so I actually wanted to insert this clip of the time lapse of me packing up my old office. So when I say old office, I use the word office very loosely because this was indeed mine and Aaron's uh, first place together. It was basement apartment and my office was our living room, which was adjacent to our kitchen. I have fond memories in this place, but it just wasn't fitting for an office. And now we have my new office setup time lapse. This is my new office that you guys have seen on this channel mostly, and it just has so much space for me to grow and be creative and have that space that's just mine. Okay, one thing I wanted to point out before we start is I feel like a total Gen Z right now. I'm 26, so I think that makes me like, I call it Zillennial, like I'm in between a Gen Z and a Millennial. I was influenced by Millennials, but I'm like young enough to be a Gen Z, I think. I don't know. But anyways, crop top, baggy jeans. Like I'm a chunky girl, so like I never wanted to wear baggy jeans because I feel like it just makes me look chunkier. But I think... I think these are okay. These are from Old Navy and this from Old Navy. But anyways, so first let's go over all of my yarn. So right here we have the Premier Parfait Chunky selection. Now this yarn is, I feel like, one of the most popular yarns in the crochet community among amigurumi creators. I use a bit of a mix between Parfait Chunky and Ice yarns. So for example, I'll grab some of these. So this is Parfait Chunky. This is Ice yarns. I think they are insanely comparable. That's why I have them side by side on the shelf. So I have like a nice color selection between the two brands and then below here I have the Pom Pom collection, Parfait Chunky Pom Pom, and then I have some like variegated yarns from Ice Yarns beside it. It's kind of just like plain yarn at the top, funky yarn at the bottom. And then up here I have all of my Bernat big yarn for like pumpkins. If you guys remember I was on a huge huge pumpkin kick this year so I have lots of leftover of that this is all my blanket yarn these two shelves the top one is Bernat blanket and I find that the formula for Bernat is getting so much better it is comparable to my favorite blanket yarn which is premier basics chenille I just like that it's like a thinner blanket yarn but like if you look at one of the newer versions of Bernat they're like super comparable so do with that information what you will. I'm starting to make a bit more of a collection of Bernat. I actually have a like another little cubby down there of Bernat blanket yarn. Um, I have, I don't have enough to do two full shelves, but when I do, I will be moving it around. But I really like how this fits nicely on one shelf. Down here is all of my Sweet Snuggles Light and Chanel Home Slim. Chanel Home Slim is the exact same thing as Sweet Snuggles Light. It's just a different name because the Sweet Snuggles Light are much colorful. And then the Chanel Home Slim is a more like muted colors. But yeah, this was my favorite yarn for the longest time. Quality has sadly gone downhill. I have not bought much of it lately, so I don't know if it has improved in the past three four months 
but it just you can work with it but then as soon as you have to frog it it's just like flies apart like it's and like I understand that chanel yarn sheds but like I expect it to shed from the ends not from the middle this is my sweet snuggles um shelf all of these shelves are from ikea by the way the billy bookcase shelves all of this yarn is sweet snuggles from michael's and again the chenille home line which is exactly the same but just different colors I don't use this as much as i used to my first couple of years i was on a really big sweet snuggles kick uh but it just i find that working with such big yarn hurts my hands these days um, but I do use it for certain projects, especially when I want to do a size comparison. When I write patterns, I definitely use it to then put in the pattern and say, okay, this is how big it can be with Sweet Snuggles, and this is the size of Sweet Snuggles Light, and blah, 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 blah. This bookshelf is kind of a miscellaneous. So the top up here is the um, Premier Pixie Dust. And if you can see, it's like a shiny, shimmery, very thin thin yarn so if you're going to work with this double strand it or pair it with like a parfait chunky or a sweet snuggles light if you want this the, the shimmer effect without working with the tiny tiny yarn ah, stop it so more of that here and then i have some of this it's called snow cone from premiere i believe they've discontinued it i i can check but i, I think it's gone it's really nice it's kind of like a very thin blanket yarn but on like the sherpa side i would say these are all Parfait XL Sprinkles, this cubby, and it is comparable in size to Sweet Snuggles size 7, but I loved the colorways, so I had to get some. Premier has recently started including duty fees in their shipping rates, which I really appreciate because as a Canadian buyer, when I would buy from them, the shipping rate would be like, you know, decent, and then I would get a surprise duty fee of like, say, $100 when it got to me, and I'm like, okay, this is $200 thing of yarn and I'm paying a hundred dollars in duty fees thirty dollars in shipping like it just wasn't feasible to me so I didn't buy for a while but then they started combining duty fees and shipping fees and I think you even get free shipping to Canada over a certain amount don't quote me on that I have to check don't know if it was a temporary thing but I digress it really changed the game for me when it came to buying from Premiere. Michaels came out with kind of like a dupe of the Parfait XL sprinkles in a way, just like some cool, funky colorways. These are the same size, the Sweet Snuggles and Parfait XL, but Premiere is not sold in store like rarely anywhere. There's one place near me, Cambridge Fibers, um, but Cambridge is like an hour and a half from me. So I did drive and make the trip once and it was awesome but um, definitely not something I can do regularly. This shelf is kind of a mishmash as well. So up top here, I have wool yarn. So this yarn I use mainly for hats and beanies around the fall seasons. So this yarn is... I wore these pants for our engagement photos where we had to sit in the dirt. It is not poop, thank you. Ah! Specifically, wool ease thick and quick. And I love the beanie, the PNW beanie from Y&V Crochet. Um, it's amazing. I can make a beanie in like 20 minutes. Love it. Love that pattern. And then here I have a lot of miscellaneous. This is some promotional yarn that I got sent from Premier that I have not used yet because I feel like it's kind of like a collector's item. I don't really want to use it even though it's so cute. It's their gumdrop collection. I'm not sure if they still sell it or if it was limited time only. Oh, what is this? Oh, these are my graduation photos. <laughs> Hi, me. Oh my god. I was so chunky in 2022. I mean, like, I'm still a little chunky. But, like, I feel like you can see it way more, like, in my face. Little baby face. Okay. Anyways, I still, I was supposed to give these to my grandmother. And then I forgot. I kind of shove, like, books and stuff up here, too. So, like, the Mama Made Minis book is up here. And then I got sent um, the Jade Amy Groomy Friends book. I still have to make something from here. Because it is so stinking cute. But as I said, I'm trying to release my own pattern right now. And I don't usually have time to make other things when I'm releasing a pattern. This is the Lion Brand Feels Like Bliss. I'm trying really, really hard to get into using this yarn because it makes the cutest fuzzy bees. And everything it makes is just so fuzzy and soft. and But it's so slippery that... I don't know. I have a hard time using it. So I'm working on it. And also, it's like... $11 a ball in Canada, which I feel like is just like a lot. It's only 100 grams of yarn. Like that's, that's crazy.
Lindsay. Um, this is the floral collection from Sweet Snuggles Light. This is the speckled collection from Sweet Snuggles Light. I tend to buy things that are limited time only because they are limited time only and exclusive. And if I don't buy them and they go away and I don't have some, I will be sad. So I just kind of collect it. Over here we have Posh yarn, but up top is the Retro Stripe from Lion Brand. Now this yarn, if you know you know, it was iconic back in, what was it, what year did I start? Back in like 2020, everybody and anybody had a knitting machine and they had this yarn, but the knitting machine hated this yarn for me anyways. Um, but I feel like it's just a collector's item at this point. I was gonna sell it when we moved, but then I'm like, nah, I'll just keep it. It's pretty. This is all posh yarn. So in Canada, we don't have a Joanne store. So this Big Twist brand that is popular in the States, we can't really get it unless we buy. Um, and I don't think Joanne ships to Canada anymore. Okay, more fact checking, but with a Google search, it says that they do ship, but when I go to their website, it will only let me pick a state. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I had my friend Koozie Crafts send me some of this Big Twist yarn. I think I bought like three of each color or two of each color. Yeah, two of each color. And it was expensive. It was very expensive. Um, the shipping alone was really expensive, but I just don't love it as much as I thought I would. I used it like maybe twice. It's very tubular. It reminds me of... The old style of blanket yarn but smaller this is all of my acrylic yarn so I have my giant I have my temperature blankets up there the one that is over here on my couch that was a 2023's temperature blanket and I actually finished it it's huge but these two up here I think I was doing a high and a low blanket and I was doing so good for like two to three months, maybe four months. I think I ended up stopping in like April or May. So I have a lot of catching up to do, but they're so pretty. Mainly all of this acrylic yarn is for the temperature blankets. I also like to have acrylic yarn on hand for facial detailing of the plushies. And plus when you sew pieces on with the chenille yarn, it sheds like crazy and breaks and it's just a nightmare. So I like to use acrylic yarn sometimes when I'm working with a temperamental chenille yarn that like I know I can't sew with. I'll just find like a matching color in acrylic yarn and I'll kind of use that instead. This is my new pattern. I am actually obsessed with him. He's a little owl and he, his arms, he can, he can stretch up to this guy. Um, love it. This is with Parfait Chunky. So this is as small as he's going to get for me because I don't work with anything smaller than Parfait Chunky. If I used posh yarn, he'd probably be a little bit smaller, but like, come on, come on. The only thing you have to sew on is the wings. Um, I'm pretty sure I just embroidered the nose and then I surface crocheted these on, but that will all be in the pattern. Patterns you can find on my website. I do have an Etsy, but it costs more on Etsy because I have to adjust for fees and things. So if you want to buy patterns, my advice would be go to my website. This is my new PC that I got recently. This is where I do all of my editing. I am in love with this PC. I just got this like creamy keyboard. Love it. She was not cheap. This is my little pull out chair. It like pops up into like a bed. You can also like extend it backwards to make it a bed, but um, I just pull it out when I'm crocheting because just to sit on it without having the leg part out is really uncomfortable. Um, it cost me like $500. It's not cheap. I wish I just got like a couch or like a love seat or something, but okay. So over here, this is my safety eye corner. I get all of my safety eyes from AliExpress. I have them linked. Okay. This is crooked and it's bugging me. Okay. The fact that, that was crooked was bugging me. So I'm just going to hold you for the last little bit here. Um, so this is all of my safety eyes. I have them all categorized by size. My diploma because I'm a university graduate. And then this is like the corner closet of doom. It's like all with projects and some electrical. And then this is my little TV on wheels. I just roll them over here when I want to crochet and stuff. That's my office. Um, it is small, but it is my oasis. It is where I can come to have peace and quiet and work on my stuff. And I feel like 
when we lived in the apartment, I didn't really have my own space. If you guys remember, I had to share my office with the living room and the kitchen. My creative brain wasn't free to think of things in that cluttered space, but having this own space, it means more to me than like you guys will ever know. And like the reason we could have this house and I can have this room is because of you guys, because you guys let me live out my dream. And also my lovely fiance is a very hard worker as well. Um, and he supports me and, you know, works hard so that we can have this house too. Oh my god, I'm gonna get emotional. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's been a crazy year. It's been a crazy four years. I've been doing this full time for just over two years, I guess. Two and a half years. It seems like I just started yesterday. That I had no idea what I was doing. I had a couple balls of yarn at my parents' house. And here we are today. My own yarn room, my own office. In a house that I own with my soon-to-be husband and like I'm I'm just so blessed and so grateful and so thankful for all of it I get a lot of comments online on like TikTok and Instagram of people um saying how like I must be so rich if I have all this yarn I'm like it's such a waste if I have all this yarn like and it's not that deep like it, it's just it's pretty I collect yarn because it's pretty and like People collect books too. People collect lots of things. Like this is just my thing that I collect. Um, but I feel like people don't really understand. And like I don't, I don't let the hate comments get to me really much anymore. Especially something as trivial and dumb as like you have too much yarn. Like okay, move on. Um, I have this much yarn not only to collect it and because it looks pretty, but also because when I look around, it reminds me of what makes me happy and that I am this lucky. To have this job and that's just the best thing in the world I'm, I'm having lots of feelings right now I don't know if I'm gonna leave all this in or cut all the mushy stuff out I hope I leave it in it's crazy how yarn can make you emotional like stop it oh my god okay thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys would like to see next in videos I'm always open to ideas as I am starting to post more on this channel thank you so much for tuning in I appreciate all of you I love you all thank you so much have a great day see you next time bye